Hey everyone, I'm Shailen with Readsy, and continuing this NaNoWriMo prep series, today I'm going to be talking about 10 NaNoWriMo productivity tips. Of course, these are tips that apply at any point. You could use these if you're not doing NaNoWriMo, but with NaNoWriMo coming up, I thought I would share some stuff that's worked for me in the past when I've done NaNoWriMo of how to really make the most out of that time and really get the 50,000 words done. Now, of course, winning is not everything, as they always say, and it's very true for NaNoWriMo. NaNoWriMo is success whether you win or not. So with that out of the way, here are 10 things that can help you be more productive during NaNoWriMo. Number one is to write in multiple sessions every day. If you write earlier in the day, it is going to be so much easier to write later in the day. If you start writing in the evening, it's going to be much more difficult. Even if you wake up and before you go to work, you write two sentences. It's going to be so much easier to pick up the book and just start writing when you write on your lunch break or when you write after work. Writing in multiple sessions also helps you break down the word goal. It might be a lot for you to sit down and have to write 1700 words. If you can break it up into smaller writing sessions throughout the day, it makes the word goal seem so much more manageable. Two is to get ahead in week one. In my experience, week one of NaNoWriMo is the most motivated I have ever been as a human being because I'm so excited to be doing NaNoWriMo and I'm so excited to be starting a new book. That's what's so great about week one. You have this book that you've been wanting to write and it's so exciting to finally write it. So use that motivation, use that excitement to get ahead in week one. If you get ahead in week one, it's really nice to just feel like you have that cushion for the rest of the month. Three, pick some days where you want to marathon write. Before the beginning of the month, I think it's helpful to identify a couple days where you are going to block off time for yourself. Maybe you have the free time and you kind of commit to not making plans on that day and that day being a writing day. I think giving yourself the gift of time to yourself to create is really great and really healthy. You might be really busy and trying to sneak in writing in little bits throughout your day and that's how a lot of people write during NaNoWriMo and that's how a lot of people write their books. But it can be very nice just as a treat to yourself to kind of go this Saturday in the second week of the month, this is my day for myself to write. Four, if you fall behind, divide your word count over multiple days. So if you miss a day and you fall a day behind, it can be really hard to try to double your word count the next day and catch up that way. What I would do instead would be to take that amount that I'm behind, say I'm 2,000 words behind, and divide those 2,000 words over several days so that by the end of the week or by the end of the next five days, then I'm all caught up instead of trying to just double my word count one day because that can be really hard and it might just be more than you are capable of writing in one day. Five, set a slightly higher word count than the 1700. What I would do, at least at the beginning of NaNoWriMo, is set myself just a slightly higher word count, so maybe 2000 words. The way I always felt was if I can make it to 1700, I can make it 300 beyond that and make it to 2000. And at least for the first week or the first two weeks, giving yourself just a slightly higher word goal helps you build a cushion for later in the month. Six, carry your writing tools everywhere. We do a lot of waiting. Normally the habit we've developed is to just go on our phones. But what if we used all those little increments of time to write? Seven, determine your system for balancing nano and other work. So I did NaNoWriMo always when I was younger, so I was in high school every time I did NaNoWriMo. And so as a result, I had to figure out the best way for me to balance NaNoWriMo and schoolwork. So you might have to adjust your system here depending on what else you have going on. The system that I found was that if I didn't have a lot of work to do that day, I would try to get all the work done and then just have the rest of the day to write. But if I had a lot of work to do, I would set myself a goal, get this assignment done, and then as a reward for that I would write for a certain amount of time. Then get this assignment done or study for this test, and then as a reward I would write. And I think in NaNoWriMo, but in general, it really helps to view writing as a reward rather than something you need to be rewarded for. Eight is to get out of the house. I find if I'm having a bit of a sluggish day and I have a lot of work to do, what I do is I take myself out of the house, I go to a coffee shop or I go to the library, and I don't let myself come home until I'm done the work that I have to do. It's so much easier to procrastinate when you're at home, but if you just get yourself out of the house and you make that your work time and you say, I'm leaving the house, I'm going to work now, even if your workspace is a coffee shop, and I'm not coming coming home from work until I've done my work. Nine, make editing notes as you go. The whole point of NaNoWriMo is to turn off your internal editor. Stop 
nagging at yourself to edit this and make it perfect before you move on and just write it. However, this can be stressful if you're writing and then you go, oh, wait, I have to change that scene in chapter two. You might not have time for that because you have a word goal that you want to read. So during NaNoWriMo, keep a list of editing notes for yourself for after NaNoWriMo. So whether it's just the dialogue in this scene is a bit clunky, come back to it later, or whether it's to completely rewire this chapter, keep notes for yourself so you have the mental assurance that I'm not gonna forget, I can do this later, I've set this note aside for myself and I will be able to fix it, but for now it's not what I'm focused on. And 10, don't worry too much about winning. It's cliche, but it is true. NaNoWriMo doesn't have to be about reaching the 50,000 words. Of course, it's really fun and really exciting to try, and it's really fun and really exciting if you do make it, but it's not the only benefit of NaNoWriMo. NaNoWriMo is so fun because of the community. Even though it is fun to push yourself to be productive and get a project done during NaNoWriMo, and I always really enjoyed doing that, I think it's always good to remind yourself that this isn't probably the most important thing in your life. And if something else happens, it's okay. And trying is just as important as winning. So those are some NaNoWriMo productivity tips. If you enjoyed this, remember to subscribe for new videos every Tuesday and Friday, and I'll see you next time.